Okay, in a break from tradition, the groom has decided he's not going before the best man, he's going after. Because he wants the he wants the last word. So therefore, instead of the groom, it's time for the best man. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to Mr. Michael Geddes. Keep it pretty close to the mouth. Yeah. Hi everybody, um, I'm Mike, I'm Dave's older brother, I am, uh, I'm honoured, I'm honoured to be here, I have um, given away two brides, I've photographed five weddings, and uh, this is the best. Uh, today is pretty special because of the challenges that we've faced. Um, the engagement was over two years ago. Uh, the world has been locked down. The borders have closed. And uh, you pulled it off. <laughs> I would like to acknowledge uh, Natalie. You look stunning. as do Shannon and Abby. I'd like to thank uh, everybody who has made it here. People have, some people have traveled many miles to be here. Uh, Canada, Australia, and uh, New Zealand, of course. Um, you may have noticed my fantastic accent. <laughs> This is what David used to sound like. <laughs> I measured this morning that it is 10,023 nautical miles from my house to here. <laughs> um, and I heard Jeff say as well, sometimes you'll just go to the ends of the earth for people. Um, and I'd do it all again tomorrow. The day after, actually. <laughs> I don't have any embarrassing stories, um, much to the <laughs> disgust of Kim. <laughs> um, for two reasons. Number one, I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> and two, there just really aren't any. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like my speech has already been said with a few things that I've been, and I've written it down so I haven't just copied ideas from people <laughs> um, so I want to share some great memories uh, we, we travelled and moved a lot in our early years in New Zealand um, we went to we moved to different towns, uh, schools, and we we had a great opportunity to go on family trips, and um, car trips, rides, and go exploring. And, and that ethos still exists in all of our family members. And I'm thankful for that because I've since met a lot of other people that don't go anywhere, and we've had that instilled in us. Um, we eventually settled in a little town called Omaru. Uh, it's it's cold there, <laughs> not not Canada cold. <laughs> One morning, me and my friend Josh, we had made a, a little a zip line, and the the place where we we started it was all covered in ice. And we were watching out the window one morning, and David was out there sprinkling salt on all the ice. We looked at each other and said, "What is he doing?" And, and we went and asked him, and he explained to us that the salt would melt all of the ice. He was six. <laughs> People who know David well know his memory. I swear the IMDB database is actually him. <laughs> it's it's very... <laughs> It's, it's very helpful when you're trying to remember something. You just need to describe it vaguely, and Dave will tell you what you were thinking. 
<laughs> he and I have had stand-up arguments on who was right at quizzes. And he won. <laughs> Your relentless hard work ethic and professional skill is envious. Uh, I, I'm very lucky enough to be a private pilot and I found myself one morning waiting at the runway with a DC-3 taking off in front of me. We were to do circuits, which is where you take off, fly back down, wind and land again. And I, I did this with this DC-3 for 45 minutes. And I, I sat there just watching this plane because I was, I was on my own. And... And I said to myself, hey, Dad, look. It was something to be really proud of. And I, I brought that up because I'm proud that I get to be Dave's witness today. I think Dad kind of is here today. I see it every day uh, in your humor, your intelligence, and your desire to make the world a better place. It helps me a lot. I'm damn proud and, and I know he would be this place is very special to me about three four years ago I was sitting over there at one of those green boats at, at 5 30 in the morning waiting for the sun to rise um, because I needed to get some good photographs and the I was having my own challenges with my my work and and a half a world away as much as that place was so neat, I was so worried about things on the other side of the planet for some strange reason. And about three months later, I uh, was having a tough night, not sleeping. So I started watching, as you do, YouTube. <laughs> and I came across Stand By Me. And my jaw dropped when I realized that in the video for Stand By Me, John Lennon and Yoko were sitting exactly where I had been the whole time. Uh, that moment three months earlier changed and realized that I was in the company of great people. Uh, naturally, I rang David, told him, and Natalie. To this day, Natalie calls that my bridge. <laughs> so I, I thoroughly enjoyed running past it a couple of days ago without all those worries. Um, unexpectedly, at the beginning of the pandemic, I found out that, that I was sick and I was going to have a pretty scary journey in front of me. And no two people stood by me more or kept in more contact with me than Dave and Natalie. Um, then, for good measure, I lost my job the day I got out of hospital. Um, and I, I was no stake to help myself. And Dave and Natalie completely took over. They didn't share what they were doing. They had it all under control. Um, I have never seen a more badass lawyer. <laughs> I knew you were family before, but I knew it then. <laughs> yep. 
And in one of those better moments, I received a phone call from you both announcing your engagement and that I was the first to know. And we're here. <laughs> I have a letter from Paula. Dear David and Natalie, we are very sorry we couldn't be with you today, but our flights from New Zealand are very expensive. <laughs> we do not have much spare cash after spending all of it on pineapple lumps, uh, <laughs> posters of Buck Shelford and tape cassettes of Dave Dobbin. <laughs> While we are sad to be missing out on your special day, we are, of course, just so happy for both of you. We cannot wait to finally meet Natalie and uh, you are both when you are both back in New Zealand. We're so excited that you have found someone who makes you happy and wish you both only the best. Happy, laughter, filled, loving marriage together. Paula, Andrew, Theo, Flora and Humphrey. I apologise for what I'm about to say. P.S. We are sure it's an emotional day. Even the cake was in tears. <laughs> so please raise your glasses. You stood by me and I will stand by you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good.